finally, we'll close out with this. Uh, the $8 million NIL deal that came out, uh, I guess, at the beginning of last week. The Athletic reported on it, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I shared it out and said, yeah, I've got an idea of who this could be. Because I, I had been told by some people that are relatively well-connected uh, who it is and what school it was. And it, it's it's Nico. Uh, I am, I, I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> I am Ali Yavava, I, whatever. Nico, the quarterback, the number seven player in this upcoming class. He has committed to Tennessee, and that was the deal, right? And it's still not confirmed and whatnot, but that's that's everything that I've been told. It's an $8 million NIL deal from a collective of boosters at the University of Tennessee. And while this is a huge, huge boost in recruiting, all of the people that are online, Chris, that are just bashing this and oh, Tennessee just bought a player and blah like that. Of course, you got him to recruit to, or you got him to commit to Tennessee because he made eight million dollars off his contract and whatever, whatever. Uh, look, it, you recruiting has completely changed, right? Recruiting in college football is completely different now than it ever was before because all of the money is being handled above board. You can see it. It's out there in the open. I think it would have been dumb for Tennessee not to use this to their advantage. The relationship is still going to win you the commitment because he was going to make money anywhere he goes. It may not have been $8 million, but he would be making money. Like, this kid is a stud, stud quarterback. And in that Josh Heupel offense, he is going to do fantastic things. But uh, but I'm curious your thoughts on the people that are bashing all these NIL deals. Look, the kids are going to make money. And I don't think it changes anything about recruiting. I think this is, if you got it, why would you not use it, right? This is this is just jealousy. That's all it is. It's just people who are upset, who are butthurt. And as soon as their school does it, they'll be happy as a clam. And they'll be crazy excited and all this other stuff. But they're just, they're just butthurt. That's all. That's the only thing I can say. This is blind jealousy. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you that. How about, how about we change the roles around? I guarantee you, if Jeremy Pruitt was still the head coach at Tennessee right now, it doesn't matter if you offer this kid $8 million. He ain't coming to be the quarterback in that offense. It ain't happening. But in Josh Heupel's yep. offense, he can actually do something. That. So, it, that. yeah, that's that's the thing that actually shocked me about all of this was, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an $8 million NIL deal. I still don't think that that matters. Everybody's got money. Everybody's spending money, and they're giving it to these recruits. The recruits are still going where they think they can do the best job. Bottom line. Well, so here's the – hang on. But here, so here's, here's an argument that I've got, okay? This okay. is what bothers me the most, all right? So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna crush this kid or, and or Tennessee for, for what, what they have done, right, in this situation. How is leaving and going to play for money any different than kids leaving and going to play where it's just easy to win a title? Like, we've seen guys that were, you know, you're the, you're the number one quarterback in your class, and you're leaving, and you're going to go play in a system where that last year they recruited the number one quarterback in the class, and next year they recruit the number one quarterback. Like, you're just ring chasing man like yeah. you're, you're they're four deep at your position and and you're going to play at that school like how is this how is going to play for money any different than that or going to the place that uh that you know will best develop you right like if you're in the past you were going to the place that you knew could get you to the nfl and that's that's what a lot of them are still doing but it's it's all very much the same thing right i think they're all still looking for the same stuff i i think that this kid, Nico, believes that going to play for Josh Heupel will get him more prepared for the NFL, and the NIL stuff is just an added bonus. Like, he's going to be taken care of for life anyway. I have fought too too damn hard, too damn long, against too many dumbass people for kids to start getting paid above board and and, and really get what their worth is for, for me to get bad because other schools are getting guys and my school might not get that guy, or I got to compete against him. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm not. I think right is right and wrong is wrong. And and the way college sports have 
absolutely taking poor black kids and manipulated the hell out of them and used them to make obscene amounts of money for rich white guys is is something that I don't care. I do not care that this kid is making a lot of money, and I do not care that A and M or 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 Tennessee or any of these other schools are paying them disgusting amounts of money. Good for them. If they piss it all away and in ten years they're broke, how the hell is that any different than people who have won the lottery and pissed it all away? Are prize fighters who make hundreds of millions of dollars and then piss it all away? But at least they had their shot at life. They had their shot at doing something special. They had their shot at changing their stars for their family for years and years to come. I cannot be jealous about that. I cannot be upset about that. I won't be. I don't blame you. I'm I'm right there with you. I, I am want right my there with school you. to get involved. Right now we got we got one rich ass attorney that's paying everybody. Okay? No, no, no. We got big boosters. <laughs> get off your ass and come up with some money. Like gum over something. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.